Dom Farrell here with the unified, hoping to be undisputed super lightweight champion, Chantal Cameron. We're here in Abu Dhabi. It's fight week. We're a couple of days away. How are you feeling, Chantal? Yeah, feeling great. What a week so far. I'm, um, with the team, we're having a good time, relaxed, getting the work done and just ready to rumble now, ready to get in there and do the business. Yeah, it's obviously, it's been a long journey to like undisputed week. Like, how does it feel now it's here and... Also, is it the sort of thing you could even imagine, like, say, back in 2017, when you'd probably become a bit more disillusioned with the sport? Definitely not. I wouldn't think I'd be in this position. I was kind of, like, to the verge where I thought, I'm never going to get the undisputed shot, so I'd probably just keep defending my belts. But um, Eddie Hearn, like, so thankful because he's made this undisputed fight happen with an opponent that I wanted as well. So I can't, I'm just so gra grateful, yeah, so appreciate that. Yeah, it's, um, it's been talked about for a while, like you and McCaskill, obviously there was um, maybe sort of talked about even before the pandemic and because the, there was the like the tournament sort of like I was going to get set up, but a bit of frustration there. Um, you've also been looking at Jessica for a long time. I mean, it's it's a fight you fancy, isn't it? Yeah, when she bots Katie Taylor, I think uh, she should give Katie a hell of a ride and uh, definitely think she's made improvements since then. But she's always, I've always been looking at her because I know I can beat her and... Um, what she does, she does well because obviously she's undisputed at 147. But what I do, I do well and I do more than her. So, yeah, it's a fight that I'm looking forward to uh, getting in, getting stuck in. Yeah, so, um, I mean, we can tell from being around the hotel this week that you and your team are really looking forward to it. I mean, to be honest, if you'd not been in fight week clothes, we'd not known who you were, we'd just think you were on a holiday. It's like, it looks like massively relaxed, sort of everyone's laughing and joking. It doesn't, if you had to pick out the group of people who were doing an undisputed title fight, probably want to pick you lot out. I mean, it looks how brilliant it comes to be involved in. Yeah, what a team I've got. It's, uh, we're serious. Like when, the when we've got to do the work, we're very serious. And Jamie and Nigel's game plans, they, they tick every box. There's a tick, there's a, uh, game, game plan A, game plan, game plan B, game plan C. So we've got, we've got everything ticked off. So uh, why not relax, enjoy it and embrace the moment. It's a big opportunity for me. It's a big opportunity for the team. And we're going to look back at this and think, what an experience. So, yeah, we're having, we're having a good time. And you know what? Boxing's a sport. You do the business in the ring, you fight in the ring, that's where it's serious. But everything on the, on the outside, to have some fun because you're going to look back at it one day and think, I should have enjoyed it a bit more. So, what a place to, what a place to be. Yeah, and obviously there's loads of like loads of boxing stars out here this week. I saw um, at the launch night you had a bit of a chat with um, Alicia Baumgartner, who's obviously just won her a title fight. Um, what were you guys chatting about? I just wished I said well done on that fight and everything. Um, also spoke to Joel Cordini yesterday who's out here, obviously your former Team GB teammate, and he was saying that you guys sparred. And he was on about um, a time you hit him in the nose and it made his eyes water, so he wanted to get out of the ring. Um, what do you remember from them spars? And like, obviously, you know, someone like Joe says he's backing you all the way and that must be great to hear. Yeah, what a fighter Joe is. And uh, gutted for him that he's not on this card, obviously with his... Injury, but uh, yeah, Joe is just, he's just a level above any. So, as far as I remember him punching me all over the place, to be honest, <laughs> couldn't get. I didn't think I landed a shot, but I can't remember. Yeah, well, where he's remembered one, so like, that's pretty good. Um, just a body shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we just spoke to Jessica, and she reckons it's not going ten rounds. Have you got any sort of a uh, bold predictions? <laughs> I just think it's funny. I just think, you know what, where did you get this confidence from? Um, uh, if it's not going 10 rounds and it's going to be her that's getting out of there, so I don't know what she's on, but yeah, just she's deluded. Let her, let her crack on. Yeah, and just last, um, Katie Taylor's fought this weekend. There's a lot of talk about uh, Croke Park now and 80,000 people in Dublin. I don't know if you will have had time to watch your fight, but um, is that something that, you know, obviously you're totally focused on the disputed, but... There's a few names in the mix for the Katie Taylor homecoming. You're one of them. I mean, just your thoughts on that. Going to give Jessica Castle a good beating and maybe, hopefully, knock some sense into her and teach her a bit of respect. But after that, then we'll see, my, team, my team will decide what's next for me. But, yeah, my job's on Saturday. That's, that's all for now.